celebrate the commissioning of this 100-bed mother and child hospital, as well as the skills acquisition center built by the Sustainable Development Goals Office here in Iperu Remo, Ogun State. Everyone who is present here today may recall that President Muhammad Buhari joined other world leaders during the 70th session of the United Nations General Assembly, which is called UNGA, in September 2015 to adopt the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The agenda envisions a present and a future that is economically, sustainably, socially inclusive and environmentally resilient. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals are therefore especially, especially transformational. And the importance of investing in the health and well-being of women and children in particular cannot be overstated. These SDGs have therefore been carefully integrated into our medium and long-term national and sub-national development policies and plans. Besides, the projects we are commissioning today under the SDGs, soon we would also be commissioning another set of ongoing projects around here, including the following. The construction of a 250-bed mother and child hospital in Ikenia, which is already practically completed. The construction of a mega school in the Ikenia, which is the Ikenia Community High School premises with 24 classrooms, and this has also been completed. There's also a mini stadium at the Kenne Community High School nearing completion, and the completion and construction of 36 classrooms at the Mayflower School in Kenne. There's another skills acquisition center at the Sombi High School at Elisha, which has also been completed. So today's event symbolizes the tremendous progress that has been made in achieving the SDGs and in that process promoting the health and welfare of all our people. This hospital is a testament to our commitment to the health care of women and children and to ensuring that we secure the future of Ogun State. The facility, as we have heard already from both the special assistant to the president as well as the governor, will not only provide primary health care to pre treat preventable diseases, but it will also ensure that women have access to pre- and postnatal care, which, as you know, are absolutely vital to the well-being of our women and, of course, the children that they'll give birth to. This 100-bed mother and child center, to be commissioned shortly, is equipped, as you've heard also, with state-of-the-art facilities. These include, amongst others, two operating theaters, recovery rooms, private and general wards, scan, uh, scanning rooms, consultation rooms, and laboratories. The other facilities, and these include an ultra-scan machine, a vacuum extractor delivery set, an emergency cart with full complements. The Mother and Child Center itself is directly linked to the achievement of SDG 3 on quality health and well-being for all, as well as other cross-cutting SDGs. The fact that the project was delivered so promptly underscores for all of us the government's recognition of the importance of healthcare facilities. This hospital is indeed an investment in the future, a testament to the, to the women and children all over our state, indeed all families of Ogun State, that their well-being is our number one priority. And I'm confident that the government and people of Ogun State will make judicious use of this facility. In the last few years, the federal government has also taken several steps to improve the quality of life of our citizens. We have increased access to education, promoted sustainable agriculture, and improved, ac and improved infrastructure. Our objective has always been to provide opportunities for young people to have well-paying jobs. No young person should go through the frustration, the needless frustration of joblessness. This is why we have ensured 
that we provide in collaboration with states and local governments, places for the development of human capital. These include technology hubs, skill acquisition centers, and facilities especially for digital education and training. The one that we'll commission today is one of many, the Skill Acquisition Center, and we'll, it's just a few meters away from here, we'll be walking over there to commission it. It is fully equipped already with sewing machines, with computers, with building uh, trades and welding uh, fabrication equipment, as well as photography and vulcanizing equipment. And the 24 classrooms in two locations are fully furnished with modern learning and teaching facilities. Among others, the center will provide vocational training in such areas as carpentry, tailoring, photography, welding, and other small scale skills, which are vital to creating stronger and more sustainable livelihood opportunities. Yes, of course, all of what we have said are a vital delivery tool for President Mohamed Buhari's commitment to lifting 100 million people out of poverty in 10 years. I'm confident that the Skill Acquisition Center will be a great success, and I certainly look forward to seeing its impact on the lives of our people, putting them on the path to success, and also helping us, our state as a whole to become more prosperous and better able to compete in today's global economy. I wish to thank most sincerely the hardworking, committed, and dynamic governor of Oakland State, His Excellency Prince Dr. Dakwabiodu MFR, for creating the enabling environment and working actively with the SDG office to ensure the actualization of this project. I'd also like to express my sincere gratitude to Her Excellency Princess Adejoke Orelukwe Adefulire former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, and now Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, for her revolutionary, focused, and result-oriented approach to delivery of government's human capital projects. She has done very well indeed, and I want to congratulate her for the excellent work she's done, not just in our state, not just in Ogun State, but across Nigeria. Finally, I want to congratulate our citizens for their dedication and hard work towards building a better future for all. It's my hope that this hospital and the Skill Development Center will serve as models for other states to replicate and that the establishment will contribute positively to the health and well-being and livelihood of all Remo and Open State citizens and Nigeria in general. It is therefore my singular honor and pleasure to commission, before we cut the tape, the 100-bed mother and child hospital and the skills acquisition center to the glory of God and for the benefit of all Nigerians. I thank you all for joining us here today. Thank you for listening.